how to master modern love. The modern dating market is a train wreck. This is undisputed. Guys know it. Girls know it. And the culprit is also pretty clear. Social media and online dating. Nobody questions this. But at the same time, everybody keeps doing the same thing. Why? Because it's easier. Since the dawn of time, all animals have been programmed with an ROI instinct. ROI means return on investment. To get the most stuff while doing the least stuff. Any monkey that thought it was a good idea to spend 100 calories to get a 50 calorie banana would be eliminated from the gene pool. So we naturally take the easiest path. And for women, online dating is even better, even if they aren't interested in dating. A few filters, some questionable angles, and they get all kinds of ego inflating attention. But for men, it's the opposite. Unless you have model quality looks, you'll get passed by. This kind of thing has happened many times before in human history. Society is cruising along, but then some new tech shows up and changes everything. Some people benefit, some people get screwed. A few decades go by, things kind of recalibrate, and then everybody's back in business. But it absolutely sucks to get the short end of the stick during that recalibration phase. Or it can suck. It certainly sucks if you keep doing the same thing that everybody else is doing, namely chasing girls online. Sure, it might be good for some quick hookups, but who knows how many other hookups they had before they hooked up with you. Not the best target market. Besides, nobody can see the real you online. It's pretty much accepted that everything online is fake anyways. Distorted, misrepresented, twisted around, etc. Online, nobody can see who you really are. Nobody can see your great strengths and positive personality traits. Nobody can feel how well you can tell a story, how you behave around others, how you can quickly flip around a frame test into a reason to laugh. How you can ask her questions to make her feel better than she has in a long time. It's almost as if social media was created by an evil genius who deliberately wanted to destroy society. Through the social media filter, we only see the fakest, most superficial part of each other. Which is why getting off online dating and social media is a step in the right direction. Another step in the right direction is to remember what it's like to have some genuine interpersonal skills and show everybody what they have been missing. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com. Check out the links below. And please subscribe so you can continue to learn more. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.